this is going to be the final episode on this problem. Which isn't a problem, by the way. Yesterday a couple of things happened. First of all, I went out in the morning. I got the foam for the seat in the back for that chair that I'm making. And those of you who are watching my YouTube channel, both of you, <laughs> will know I'm making a chair. And I got sidetracked here with this saw. Anyway, now I got the foam for the cushions. Went to the foam store. Here in Winnipeg there's actually a store and that's all they do is sell foam. So I was lucky. Got what I needed. Anyway, second thing that happened was my son phones me up and just a coincidence he uh, has some moldings, baseboard moldings that he wants cut. So I said bring them over. I've already got the saw set up. I'm doing a video on it. So anyway he comes over and and we, we cut them and he goes back home and he phones me and he says everything's good. I think that's the first time I've cut baseboard moldings with this saw and they came out fine. However, let's, let's get down to the uh, problem here or the, what people perceive as maybe being a problem with this saw. It could be that I overcomplicated the answer. When people were talking about blade deflection, all they meant was when you, when you pull it back, does it go like this? The answer to that is no. It, I think it's as stiff as, if not stiffer, than, than other brands of the same size. Now, none of them are going to be perfect. All of them are going to have a little bit of movement, lateral movement, when you extend it all the way and push hard on the blade. Now, with this one, if I try to, if I try to push hard on it, it it's going to bend the blade. The, I can actually see the blade is bending, but the arm is hardly moving. Okay, the blade is deflecting. Uh, the arbor is staying straight, you know. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say here. Uh, so as far as, as far as lateral deflection goes, you know, going this way, it's good. This, this arm on the top here, this one here, that's the one that keeps it from going flopping from side to side. Why didn't they just say, does it flop to side to side when, they, when you pull it out? You know, that would have, might have known right away what you're talking about. It's good. I like this saw. Uh, yeah, that's the bottom line. I like this saw. If I was to make any changes on this saw, if the, if the designer said wrong, we'll make it exactly the way you want it. I'd get rid of these things. That's a nuisance. I've overridden it, by the way. What this does is, yeah, and I think all the manufacturers have some sort of safety thing now that you have to hold a button while you squeeze the trigger. What gun have you ever shot that you had to hold a button while you squeeze the trigger? I never shot any guns that had that. Uh, you know, we, we, like I said in another video, we are safety to death in this country. This, this I found to be a bit of a nuisance, but I could easily override it. And I talked about that <clears throat> uh, two, three years ago in the first videos. Anyway. Bottom line, I like the saw. I like the saw. Now I just heard myself say that the arm is stiff. I do not want that to be misinterpreted that it is hard to pull out. Not that kind of stiff. In fact, this has got to be the easiest saw to pull the blade back and forth that I have ever seen. I don't think there's any other saw that easy. And uh, you know what? If you're in the market for one of these saws, now if you've already got one, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if you're in the market, go try it out. Go to a store that sells this Bosch saw and uh, try it out for yourself. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. You'll be wondering like I do, what is all this uh, talk about blade deflection? I'm thinking again, it could be overzealous employees of a competitive company that are putting these uh, reviews up and uh, just sort of fear-mongering, uh, I'm beginning to think that's what's happening here. Mind you, I'm sort of a skeptical person anyway.